Hey, time travelers. So I thought I'd give you an update on my transportation status because, you know, my car is out of commission. So I've been taking the bus and I've been doing it for a couple of weeks. You know, I hate taking the bus, but I have to considering my situation. But what I hate the most about taking the bus is walking really far, waiting forever, taking a bus to another place, waiting forever again, and then taking to a bus to the final destination, and then you can walk the rest of the way to where you're going. Doesn't feel as bad at the end. So I've been walking like, uh, so I've been finding routes where I can like walk a couple miles to take a bus and then walk another couple miles. And I totally prefer that. And lucky me, I bought these off of Amazon. What a weird brand shoe. They're called Just So So. <laughs> I really like them because they got no separate tongue. I hate it when I'm walking and the tongue wants to slide down and go on the side of your shoe and all rub it against your foot. These don't do that. And they're really sturdy and they got these interesting suspension bottom things. The, the only complaint I have on them is this weird spelling of the word system. This says Sagustum. Here, check it out. It says Sagustum. Whatever. Would I buy these as shoes again? Yes. You're gonna put those back. But I've been using this smartwatch to track my steps and some days I go up to seven and a half miles and my feet are not hurting like crazy. I wish I had those shoes years ago. For example, this time when I had to have the cylinder head gasket worked on my car and I was taking the bus for three months. But taking the bus in Ohio, it's just, let's put it this way. I can confirm the sun comes out at least three times a year, but usually it's overcast and depressing. Got these disgusting skies, but check out this sexist social distancing message with this female character between two males that I saw at the bus stop. They're basically telling women to stay away from men. I mean, look at it again. And they show it at every electronic bus stop thingy, what's it? And the next frame that happens after that immediately shows us a woman with the text, your health is important to us. You know, it's important that you notice things in signage or advertisement or any other propaganda or marketing of any kind, because if you notice it, that means it does not affect you subconsciously. But Columbus is a mess. Sometimes when you're walking, there's a nice sidewalk to walk on. Sometimes it's a deteriorated mess of a sidewalk. Sometimes there's an ancient remnant of a sidewalk from ages past that archeologists only dream about uncovering someday. But sometimes you don't get a sidewalk at all. And you, like this, and you have to walk in the freaking street and hope no one runs you over. Then there's this bizarro thing where they fix the sidewalk and they do a thing that adds only more mystery to the city. Is this a driveway? No, it has orangey bumps. That means it's an official city of Columbus thing, like a street. The orangey bumps are only there for pedestrian crossings, to cross roadways. So at first when I looked at it, before I noticed the orangey things, I thought, oh, that's just someone's driveway that's like a property. And then I was like, no, orangey things. So I looked and I'm like, hmm, that must mean there's supposed to be an alley here. A secret alley. They must have used a map of Columbus from ancient times when they were fixing up the street or something. Now the secret is revealed because I noticed a thing. Maybe that's where other me disappeared to that one time he went out for a walk and didn't come back for a while. But there's another thing I hate about taking the bus. It's when you're trying to get out of the bus and let's say you're sitting towards the front and you see other people getting out the back and you're like, well, I'm gonna get off this bus really fast so that the bus can get going to the next stop. So you try to get out the front, door shut. So you turn around and the driver's like, back door. So I walk to the back door and the back door's shut. So I look back at her and I look over and the front door's open. So I walk to the front door and then get out. And you might say, well, hey, Rob, the front door's for getting on the bus and the back door's for getting off. Wrong. These, it's like one bus driver, the only bus driver that ever does this to me. And she does it to me the other way around too. So if I try to get out the back and there's other people already going out the front, she won't open the back and she'll say, front door. 
So I'll walk to the front, and the door will be shut by the time I get there. And I'll look over, and the back door's now open. It's just utter nonsense. I'm trying to help you by getting off the bus faster. How long does it take for you to press a button? Door opens and closes in two seconds. I digress. Well, with all that walking, I've been tracking my steps and other health stats with this smartwatch. Here's a card if you want to see me trying out three budget fitness tracker slash smartwatch options. It's a tech thing and also a health thing. Hey, before we get any further into the video, I'd like to ask for your help. If you like this video, you might consider doing something to help me out. One of the easiest things is just click like on the video or hit subscribe, which is over there. And I've also will be talking about some stuff that I've been doing and things that I buy that may also help you out. So one of the ways you can help me is that if you click any of the Amazon links that are down in the description below, I get a tiny, tiny commission from it at no extra charge for you. Basically, if you click one of them, even if you don't even buy that thing you're looking at and you buy something else that's similar or something else completely different, I could still get a commission depending on what Amazon decides. All right, without further ado, back into the video. And now, hey, hey, I didn't even see you walk in or teleport in or anything. Well, what are you doing? Well, I'm shooting an R vlog and I need Charlie. Can't you do it with me? Everybody, this is Rainbow Princess. She is here today to help me film a future video. Hi, everybody. It's called The Wizard and the Rainbow Princess. You should get subscribed. He makes really funny sci-fi comedy videos. Uh, yeah. That's what we were filming earlier, but can you get going so I can finish filming this video? Okay, I'll see you later. TTYL. Ridiculous teleport effect thing. Check it out, peeps. I'm at 403 subs now. You should help me get to 500 subs by subscribing to the channel right over here and then click the bell so you get notifications. How many subs are you at? 465, I think. Let me see. He's checking. We'll just check right now. 465 subscribers. Because he's been on YouTube for a little bit longer than me. And he's a gaming channel. I'll link a card up here for you if you want to check out his channel. See what kind of kids games he plays and his random tech reviews. And now, enjoy this random thing. This random thing is a picture that my dad sent me randomly and he says I heard there will be a movie after the reception let's pick our seat <laughs> it's a joke my dad used to say but I says I remember your pick your seat I joke says, I said I says you said I says oh <laughs> I remember your pick your seat joke this might have something to do with the dresses they are wearing no, his pick your seat joke was like when I was a kid, if you ever saw me scratching my butt, he would say, are you picking your seat so you know where you can sit down? And his, he was always saying his dad jokes, even back then in the 80s. He says, nah. And I said, double butt pick is a high rate probability of common wardrobe issue. Lol. <laughs> they have skill issue. Skill issue. Skill issue. <laughs> skill issue. Or it could be their underwear. <laughs> and now dad joke time this dad joke is brought to me by my dad it's a star trek meme thing that he found and sent it to me it says someone keeps sending me celery and i don't know who it is as Riker says sounds like you're being stalked because the celery things are stalks get it get it all right this week's tech thing is these little power banks. They come two for in a pack on Amazon. Link in the description. They're super cheap and they got lots of great reviews on Amazon. They, uh, let's see. You can be charged with USB C or USB micro B. And they got two outputs and they have a button on the side right there. And if you push it, you got lights. See how much charge is left. 25%, 50, 75, or 100. And I got these for filming. Because how much she has to film, and also, these kind of take a while to charge up again, so, yeah. They're, well, they're 10,000 milliamps, so I can get a little over two full charges on a phone out of one of these. And haven't you used them to charge up your tablet and stuff? I don't think so. I've seen you use these, because they, like, disappear from my charging spot, and they're plugged into your 
your gadgets. Anyways, they're linked in the description. The only con that I could say for them is they don't power USB lights very well. They're like, the light will stay on for a few seconds and to turn off, and it might be because the lights don't pull enough amps and these don't know what's going on. But that's it's, really like a YouTuber filming problem. It's because the lights have a skill issue. Skill issues. This guy with his skill issue, just like the women picking their butt cracks. <laughs> that's what he said. Mm. <laughs> And now, bonus! Enjoy this random things that Charlie sent, found, and sent me. Sent and found me. Sent and found me. <laughs> it ought. Very rare picture of a fire-breathing golden retriever. It's kind of similar to, uh, like, one of the thumbnails that I made for a video, because I just got lucky on the angle that it got it. Like, the gun in our soul is pointed the right direction, and there was an explosion, so it looked more realistic and cool and stuff and that's the same thing that happened here kind of just like a coincidence and a good time to take the picture yeah and he also sent me this bad english one i love bad english that's why he sent it to me because he knew i'd laugh boba chocolate dry eat pearl milk tea chewing to eat bubble to drink <laughs> eat bubble to drink make sure you chew your drink <laughs> <laughs> and in the bottom corner it says Taiwanese flavor. <laughs> now you've tasted Taiwanese. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. I've been Robert Jean. I've been Elemental Place. Bye. Oh yeah, what's next? Bonus things. We didn't do the tech thing. That's gonna be our awkward end screen, because I'm supposed to do the tech thing first. So I'm gonna cut the tech thing and then put it before the other thing because editing magic.